Welcome to another episode of The Coding Math, and in this new series, I'll be going through the basics math concepts for programming. There are many types of collision detection algorithms, but in today's video, we're only going to focus on three basic ones. Collision detection between two circles, between two rectangles, and between a rectangle and a circle. So let's start with the first one, a collision detection between two circles. If you look at two circles here, the three variables that I want you to pay attention to are the x and y coordinates of each of the circles and the radius of each of the circle. So how do we know that they're colliding? If the distance between the x and y coordinates of circle 1 and circle 2 is less than the radius of circle 1 plus circle 2. So if you look in the picture right now, because the distance is more than the radius combined, they are not colliding. But on the other hand, if the distance between the center of the two circles are less than the radius of the two circles combined, they are colliding. First, I'm going to declare three variables for one circle. Let cx, let cy, and let cr. So this is the x and y coordinate of that circle and the radius. Then I'm going to initialize cx to be width divided by 2, cy to be height divided by 2. So this circle is going to be in the middle of the canvas. And then I'm going to make cr to be 100. And then let's draw it. So an ellipse function takes in a total of four arguments, the x and y coordinate of the circle, so cx and cy. And then it takes in the width and the height, which is the diameter. And so we need to multiply cr by 2. And then let's give it a color white. Okay, so now we have a circle that is smacked in the middle of our canvas. Now I'm going to draw another circle. This circle is going to have mouse x and mouse y as their x and y coordinates. So ellipse is going to be mouse x and mouse y. But now I'm going to declare another radius for this smaller circle at 20. So CR2 times 2, CR2 times 2. And then let's give this color red. Okay, so now we have a big circle that is static. And then we have this smaller circle that moves around, depending on where the mouse is. But now when they're colliding, nothing happens. What I want to do is that I want to change the color of the big circle if these two circles are colliding. We need to check whether the distance between the center of these two circles is less than the radius of these two circles combined or not. If it is, then they're colliding. We can actually use a built-in function called dist, D-I-S-T, to figure out what is the distance between the two points. But right now, I'm actually going to write out the math so that you can actually see how the dist function works. So let's first define this x this variable, we're going to calculate the distance between the x coordinates of the two circles. So cx minus mouse x. And then we're going to do the same for the y, cy minus mouse y. And now we're going to use the equation from the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what is the distance between the x and y coordinates of the two circles. Distance is going to be equals to this x times this x, so x squared plus y squared, this y plus times this y. And then this whole thing needs to be square rooted. Basically, this is what the dist function does. But instead, we write it out so you can see how the dist function actually works. And then now we can write an if statement. And this if statement is going to check whether distance is less than or equals to the radius, which is CR plus CR2. And if it is less, then it means it's colliding. And I want to change the color of the circle to be yellow. And if not, then the circle will just be white. OK, let's try it yellow. And if you can see, once it touches, it's still okay. And then it turns yellow. So this is collision detection between two circles. Let's move on to the next one, 
two rectangles. In the rectangle here, I have identified a total of four points, the four corners of the rectangle. There are four main variables here. First, the x and y location of the top left corner of the rectangle, and then it's the width and the height. Before we look at how to detect whether two rectangles collide, let's look at a simpler one, a collision between a rectangle and a point. To identify whether a point is within a rectangle, we need to check the position of the point relative to the four edges of the rectangle. On the x-axis, if px is more than or equals to the left edge or rx or less than or equals to the right edge which is rx plus rw. And on the y-axis, if py is less than the top edge or ry or more than the bottom edge which is ry plus rh, we know that that point px, py is within the rectangle. It is actually quite similar to identify if two rectangles collide. For two rectangles, instead of just detecting if one point is within the rectangle, we need to check if the second rectangle's edges are within the rectangle. To do that, we also need four conditional statements. The first one, we need to check if the right edge of the first rectangle is more than or to the right of the left edge of the second rectangle. The second one is that we need to check if the left edge of the first rectangle is less than or to the left of the right edge of the second rectangle. The third one is that we need to check if the bottom edge of the first rectangle is below or more than the top edge of the second rectangle. And then the fourth one is that we need to check if the top edge of the first rectangle is above or less than the bottom edge of the second rectangle. So I'm going to declare four variables, the x and y coordinates and the width and the height of the rectangle. And then let's make the width and the height to be, let's do 150 here. And then I'm going to initialize the x and y coordinates to be width divided by 2 and height divided it by 2. It's not going to be right in the middle, um, and that is because the x and y coordinates that we're going to put in our rect function is the top left corner of the rectangle. So I'm going to put here x and y, and then the width and the height. And let's fill it with the color white. Okay, so now we have this rectangle of size 100 by 50. I want to draw another rectangle. And then this rectangle is going to actually move with my mouse as well. But then I'm going to give it the same width and height as the first rectangle. Then let's fill it with red. Okay, but now when they're colliding, nothing happens. Let's go back to our four conditions that we need to know that the two rectangles are colliding. Let's start with the x-axis first. I'm going to define two variables. Right edge would be x plus width, and then left edge would be x. And then now let's go to the y-axis. So it's going to be top edge, which is going to be y, and then bottom edge, which is going to be y plus h. So now we're going to write the four conditional statements. So if its right edge is more than or equals to mouse x, and the left edge is less than or equals to mouse x, then we are going to print collide. Let's try it. So now not colliding. Um, what I did wrong is that it has to be the left edge it has to be mouse x plus the width. Actually, I'm not just going to print. I'm going to change the color of this first circle here, because it's kind of difficult to see. Okay. There you go. But you can see that, you know, it works on the x-axis anywhere this rectangle is. So we need two additional conditional statements. So the first one is, the top edge needs to be less than or equals to the bottom edge of the smaller rectangle, which is going to be mouse y plus h. 
and the last one is going to be the bottom edge of the big rectangle it needs to be more than or equals to the top edge of the smaller rectangle which is mouse y let's try this and there you go now it works on all directions So now we have gone through the circle to circle and rectangle to rectangle collision detection. In this last one, I'm going to show you how to detect a collision between a rectangle and a circle. To detect collision between a rectangle and a circle, we need three total steps. The first one, we need to figure out which edge of the rectangle is the circle closest to. And then we need to calculate the distance. And then in the third step, we are going to use a conditional statement to figure out if the distance between the edge of the rectangle and the center of the circle is less than the radius of the circle or not. And if it is, it means the two shapes do collide. First, let's draw out the rectangle. X, Y, W, and H. Then I'm going to draw this, and then I need to also initialize X, and y okay nothing's new here and then I'm also going to draw an ellipse and this ellipse is going to have an x and y location as the mouse location and then let's do size of 30 in diameter and then I'm going to fill it red Actually, I'm going to move this after the rectangle. Okay, so now we have a circle and a rectangle, but when they collide, nothing happens. First, we want to figure out which of the rectangle's edge is the circle closest to. I'm going to do that by creating two variables. I'm going to call them close x and close y. And I'm going to initialize them with the location of the circle first. We need to write if statements to figure out which edge the circle is closest to. So if mouse x is more than x plus w, right? Which means it is closest to the right side. Then I want to set closest, close x to be the right edge. Else if mouse x is less than x, which means it's closest to the left side, I want to change this to x. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the y direction. So if mouse y is more than y plus h, then close y is going to be equals to y plus h and else if mouse y is less than y so it's closest to the top edge then i want to do this and the reason that we need to figure out which edge it's closest to is because we want to know what is the distance that we need to calculate the distance between which edge and the center of the circle and then once we have this first step then we want to calculate the distance and this is the same way that we calculated the distance in the circle to circle collision detection so this x is going to be close x minus mouse x, right? So mouse x is the center of the circle, and then close x is the edge. And then this y is close y minus mouse y. And then we need to use Pythagorean theorem, which is going to be this x times this x plus this y time this y and then you want to square root everything and also once you're familiar with this equation you can also just use the dist dist built-in function within p5js that does the exact same thing as this now we can write the conditional statement that says if distance is less than or equals to the radius of the circle right which we have defined we have not defined yet so let's create CR equals to, to 15 and then this one is CR 
times 2, CR times 2. So if distance is less than the radius of the circle, then I want to fill the rectangle yellow, which is what we have been doing. Else, we fill the rectangle white. So it's not colliding. There you go. So now you have learned three basic types of collision detection between two circles, between two rectangles, and then between a rectangle and a circle. Try to implement it into your programs. This is a great way to create programs where there are objects that are interacting with each other. Give it a try.